Matthew chapter 7, very passage of scripture, it says, teaching, we refer to sermon on very familiar verse of scripture, I want to share simple with you. Jesus warned about judge, he's warned about how that if you ask, that he asked them, he taught them the golden rule, and then he shifts gears quickly to the teaching about this in a wide, verse 13, he at this gate, I just think broad as that leadeth direction, and there be of therein, be straight as he did, narrow the way, leadeth unto life, and you there be that find. I share a very simple thought this morning, I'm fully convinced that our world believes bigger than bigger. I'm fully convinced we've bought totality. If it's popular, it must be good. If it's it must be right. We have a very teaching on the self that narrow the way. The saddest words really, Jesus, do there be that be. I'm very concerned about the plural in our society. I'm very concerned about religious liberty in our society. I'm very concerned about the fact that people don't think it matters. They're not free to say we want to stay in church. Or we're free to what we want in church. But I want to tell you what matters more than all together is our responsibility to make sure that in the thrivals and in all the fusion, all the, all the items that seem there that are clear, we're concerned. That Jesus is certainly the way. I'll tell you something, live in a city that are just ways. I'm a member of people who believe, well, all really basically as long as sincere. Well, being sincerely wrong is still being wrong. The bull said, Jesus teaching us straight gate and throw it away. Every while we've used, we use. Well, that's grammar, that's it, grammar, right? Amen. Get a cue of being narrow mind. I want to tell you that we have to be faith of the word of God. There's only one way. Now, this morning, a lot of options. A lot of people think know the truth. A lot of people telling you this is as good as that. But just make abundantly that there are many wrong ways. Why gate? Notice he's very clear. Leads to destruction, and there be the wind there. I'm telling you, I'm burst morning. We live in a society of people who are blind, being them sin, leading us down a way of destruction. We don't acknowledge that the path is narrow, and that Jesus is that secret path. Folks, I want to be real with you. I just very clearly this minute, my task is to share a simple thought. With you. Jesus is just the only. Jesus not just uh, the way, but he did the no way. I want you to understand that world that's all rules are the sin of world that we call just wrong. That is a big problem for you leaving that this is elusive. You we call it minded. You with that as being sin. You will be wrong because the road is narrow and it's not popular race and bigger better. But it is right. Folks, I know a lot of people get mad at things, get offended at things, upset about things. Seems that's a struggle. At the end of the day, there is no way. His name is us. Why they don't sing. It's why we church. We rejoice this morning with you that we're tithes. We want to get clear. There's a no sealer fist word. And it's Jesus. Now, I want to do this, but I shared with children in the cute. The Bible says it's a broad lead instruction. Our way to life. This morning, I ask you, remember a speak time, trusted Jesus as the same means of investing life. Do you remember a time you reckoned you were lost? That did not have Jesus. That you, with hope that your path is struck, you repent toward God, you became again. The Bible says there's a narrowed one way, and it's Jesus. I ask you this morning, do you remember reading that over in Romans? Where else is that? How we're yet in our die for us. You see, morning, none can get the narrow way yourself because the crowd taking you broad. But the Bible says Jesus is the way to find lasting life, and it's through Him alone. While we at sinner died for us, you can't crack up, you can't turn, you can't figure it out on your own. It requires knowledge, understanding Jesus died for you. Your sin cross because you must save. While we were at sin, Christ died for us. The good news this morning: accept His gift, cross. You accept it at the cross. Amen. For sin, the Bible says you receive everything life. See, it's the narrow way. It's the only way. And if there were than one heaven, Jesus would have never to the cross. He was the cross because it was the only way. Morning, if you're uncertain, remember a speak time, trust in Jesus as your real Savior. It's a few moments of time and a time of invitation. I invite you to run. I invite you to come. Our staff counselors are with you and from the word how you search this morning the Lord Jesus. That's your own narrow way. Do you remember it? Where you trusted, repentant to God, and born again. I ask you to be with me. It's a past very brief word. Well, that's what they give me. Music teams in just a moment. I have a time. Man. I believe this. You've been hard stirred on through church. I believe this morning by saying, Pastor, I'm 100% I've ever been again. I've gone to church. I've church. I've attended church. I've done all sorts of things at church. But I'm truly to Jesus. The one only has their own way. This morning, I want experience. I want you to repent towards God this morning to for lasting. The Bible is the way of our sin death, but it's the gift of God is eternal life. The Bible tells us, Whosoever shall upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. This morning, if you're not 100% that there are times time where you are being sent to own Christ. I need to come this morning because the wrong way is destruction. At the minimum is destruction. That narrow way, Jesus' way, that leads to life. In the name of Jesus, I'm asking now that you're in the heart. If there's one who's not certain, I pray you'd give the courage to take that step of faith. Heads are bowed. I'm going to ask this morning. If you're not represented, that you, Lord, just that you're sure of heaven, you're already, I want you to look up at me. I contact me, please. Is there? Amen. Another, make eye contact with me. The moment I didn't know, you can go from dead and seeing a light rise. The Bible says, Whoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall he. And during sitting and eat, you can ask the Lord to forgive your sin, give you everlasting life.
changing the church. The that Jesus is the narrow path, the one and only path. Of in heaven, I'm thankful for that one for others. Whatever their need, their birth this morning, I pray and help them respond to their needs. Just a moment, standing for the Bob, just in a great hymn, and as we met some, this morning you make a decision for Christ to believe yourself. I want you to come. Now, there's nothing willing to come. Great step. We'll, we'll bounce with the rest of the staff right here with you from God so that you can have assurance this morning that you have a decision for Christ.